Hi there, Alibaba has recently published its last quarter results. And the numbers has declined a little, but they are also good results. Let me show you. First, the board has approved a full spin-off of the Cloud Intelligent Group via stock dividend. If you own Alibaba stock, in the next 12 months, you will get a stock dividend that you can hold it or sell it. Plus, there are other opportunities. Alibaba plans to spin off other subsidiaries, such as Alibaba International Digital Commerce, Sineo, and Freshipo. Now, let me show you their final results. The revenue has declined a little by 3% in the last quarter, and the operating income has increased a little from 42 to 46. And the other segments have improved a little in revenue and operating income. Not that much, but it's an improvement. And because of this decline in revenue of 3%, the stock price went down almost 8%. But let's look at the whole picture. For the full fiscal year, the revenue has increased by 2% and income from operations have increased by 44%. That's a good performance. But if you look segment by segment, you will notice that channel commerce has declined by 1% and the income from operations is about the same, 172. The other segments have increased their revenue by 10 to 20% and the increase in their net income came from the changes in the fair value of their investments. As you can see on this page. If you look closer to these segments, you will see that the biggest decline came from the customer management. The revenue has declined by 8% year over year. That happens because of lower demand and ongoing competition, as well as supply chain and logistic disruptions due to COVID-19. And the other segments have increased a little, especially their international commerce which have increased by 13%. Also, the local consumer services by 12%, Sineo by 21%, and their cloud by 4%. And if you look at their free cash flow, you can see that has increased by 74%, from 98 billion to 171 billion. That's an amazing performance. That increase happened because of improving operating efficiency. They got a dividend from Ant Group, plus a decrease in capital expenditure. So the revenue is down a little, but the free cash flow is up 74%. That's a good rebound. Plus, Alibaba has 81 billion in cash. And if you look at their market cap, it's about 270 billion. So almost half of the market cap is in cash. Moreover, Alibaba has 90 billion for buybacks. This means a return about 8 to 10% of the current market cap. So there is more value than the current market cap. And if you do a valuation based on the current free cash flow, 170 billion, then the fair value will be around 400 billion for a 10% annual return. And if Alibaba grows by 10% in the next 10 years. Even though Alibaba has no growth in the next 10 years, the fair value will be about 190 billion. So about the same as the market cap. Plus we have the cash and the buybacks. And more opportunities from spin-offs. But as China GDP is expected to grow by 5% and Alibaba has more opportunities to grow its business, you can assume a 10% growth rate for the next 10 years. Or even lower, 5%. And still the market cap is undervalued. So if you choose 10% growth rate for the next 10 years, and the free cash flow around 140 billion, maybe next year they will have more expenses, then the fair value will be about 300 billion for a 10% annual return. So the stock price is still undervalued. Of course, there are also risks. For instance, if Alibaba grows by 5% and the multiple is around 15, then the fair value can be around 160 billion for a 10% annual return. This can happen, but as Alibaba has over 80 billion in cash, plus they plan to do more buybacks, and there are those opportunities with IPO, 
it's unlikely that the first value will be around 160 billion. And the great scenario where Alibaba may grow by 15% a year, then the first value can be around 600 billion. I don't know if the growth rate will be so high, but I expect the normal case, about 10% growth rate. But be aware that most of the value for Alibaba stock will be from their IPOs plus their cash on hand and buybacks. Alibaba will spin off its cloud division in the next 12 months and investors will get a stock dividend with the new IPO. Plus, there are the other segments. For instance, Alibaba International, Sinel, where Alibaba holds a 67% equity interest, and this segment may go public in the next 12 to 18 months. Lastly, they'll also spin off the Freshipo business, which may go public in the next 6 to 12 months. So even though the revenue is down by 2%, there is still value in Alibaba. A lot. As I said, the cash on hand, over 80 billion, buybacks, around 20 billion, plus future IPOs. So based on my valuation, Alibaba is undervalued. I'll do a full analysis when I have the final annual report. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments.